hello everyone so this was one of our very first episode that we put out but we, i thought it was nice to repost it do enjoy it thank you so much here we go <laughs> okay so these are the essentials that you will need you will need hair glue hair glue of your choice <laughs> you'll need a flat iron You will need a scissors, a comb, a razor comb, <laughs> and you will need a clip to clip your hair out of place and of course your hair. So now we're going to det already determine where I want my hair to be placed. So I'm going to make a pad. Just sectioning off my hair. When sectioning off your hair, think about ways you would like to weigh your hair and styles that you would like to be doing in the pro in the process of wearing. Right. Oh, so we finally get a we section down. And we are about to go and add in our tracks. I went ahead and pre-cut some of my tracks to make it easier for me. As you can see, the pre-cut is just at the right measurement. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to put the glue on my track. I'm going to glue, put the glue on two pieces first. The reason why, when you're putting in tracks in your hair, it's best to glue two pieces and let, let it stay down for a little while. The glue will get tacky and when you place it on your head, it will hold better. So that's my second piece. <laughs> and I'm gonna put down my second piece and pick up my first piece and place it on my head. And you can see the glue is a bit dark. That means it's starting to pull so it get a little bit more tacky and less runny. My first piece went on in a slight C shape and you're going to continue in a C shape when placing your tracks.
that's my second piece that I have glue. You can see the glue is a lot more darker than when you first apply it to the hair. So I'm just showing you, make sure that you measure the end to end in your, where you're going to be placing your tracks and then we're going to snip that. Now we got two pieces. <laughs> So again, I'm going to put the glue on both pieces and let it stay down so that the glue could get tacky. It's very important that the glue get tacky before placing it on your hair. If you need to put on a blow dryer and just blow some heat on it to make it get tacky faster. And you can see at my third piece, my C is a complete C. It's a deep C. And we're going to continue placing our track in a C motion. So I went off camera and I applied the rest of my tracks. And this is my last piece. Make sure that the ends, your two ends of your weave, have enough glue on it if you don't have enough glue on the two ends it will lift up faster at the ends so make sure you have enough not enough to spread all over your head but just enough to make it hold and stay tight Okay, and that's just a piece of thread that came in the weave, so I'm just going to be removing that. And you could weave, use any brown and weave of your choice. It doesn't matter so long as it's 100% human hair. So now you can see your hair will be able to weigh on your right side and your left side it will be able to be wearing, wear in a bang and a mini mohawk coming towards the front of your hair. Now, now you take your razor comb and you will determine where you would want your length to be, your desired length whether you're wearing it to the side or to the front i would like mine right between my nose When cutting on the side, I'm going to be using the wider side of the razor comb. The reason why is because the wider side with a longer comb take off less hair, remove less hair when you are cutting unlike the shorter side. So 
so if it's your first time doing a cut like that use the bigger side and take your time you'll get there now that i want a little bit more hair come off i'm gonna go in with the shorter side and trim out some more hair So now I'm showing you that I'm going to be combing my hair to my right side. My left side. And of course, my bang. Now we're going to take the scissors and we're going to be doing some point cutting. And the reason I'm doing point cutting is because I want to take out a little bit more hair but I don't want to use the razor comb. You could go ahead with the razor comb also and take out some more hair but with the point cutting it gives me a more defined look. And be careful when doing that because you are using the end of the scissors and you want to be careful when you're point cutting. You're just taking a slight amount of hair so you won't see no big set of hair falling off but you are taking off here. Don't be afraid to go back in and shape off your hair so long as you see it needs. Don't be afraid to take your comb and go back in. Until you get your desired look. Right, so I'm making sure that my Mini Mohawk will be able to do what I want it to do also. And it will work just fine. Okay, so now we're going to go in with a flat iron and we are going to get ready to start flat ironing flat iron our hair.
and with this style it's very versatile I'm only doing four styles today sh um, showing you the placement of the weave and what you could achieve with this with this method of placing your weave so I'm just gonna show you four today but you could go way more than four you could do really curly here i don't i don't want mine so curly on top but you can go really curly on top and with, with your bangs you could do so many different things with this one with the placement of this drag yes i'm just going to continue giving my hair a slight bend because today i'm not going for a very curly effect so I'm just going to give it a slight bend and I'm going to continue doing that throughout the hair and after that I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish off my style and if you would like to see more in detail like how I finish it please comment below and let me know so I can show you more tips and tricks in doing it. So this is the finished product <laughs> style number one <laughs> I love it <laughs> thank you for watching and like subscribe share my videos And then I'm going to put in some still photos of the rest of style. The rest of style.